Hey guys, what's going on? Sean of Third Railify, and I hope you're having a beautiful day today. So this is a bit of a crazy story. A Thai man is bitten on the testicles by a python. <laughs> it's like every man's worst dream, or worst nightmare, rather. Just sitting, doing your business, scrolling on Twitter, or Instagram, or auto trader, wherever, just minding your own business. And then a python emerges, it comes up, and then it bites you in your fuzzy little beanbag. That's, that's, that's a nightmare. That's a nightmare fuel. So a tight man's bitten on the testicles by a python while sitting on the toilet, leaving his bathroom sprayed in blood. I just... I can't. I can't with this story. But before we do, I want you to like the video, subscribe to the channels, and uh, follow me at Third Relify on, on, on Twitter, if you're so inclined. I mean, share with your friends or all that stuff. But also, a new thing that I am doing here is this. This is my locals page. So at Third so it's thirdrailify.locals.com. I'm going to be doing uh, a, a bunch of stuff that's just for there. So maybe become a member of uh, of that. Naming things is hard, so I've called it Third Rail Society. For those watching on Rumble, it's right this little red button right here. This little red button, join, and then takes you right there. Let's carry on. Hi, man. Bitten on the testicles by a python while sitting on the toilet, leaving his bathroom sprayed in blood as he desperately beat it to death with a toilet brush. Horrifying pictures show the aftermath of Thanet Thang to Wanan's exchange with the 12 foot reptile hiding. In the U bend of his home toilet on Tuesday. <laughs> a 12 foot long python. I just, I can't, my brain is broken with this story. Bandit said that moments after sitting down, he felt a sharp pain tear through his testicles. He said, I felt something biting my balls. It was very painful. So I put my hands in the toilet. To see what was wrong. I was shocked that I grabbed a snake, he said. This reminds me of a of a story that that happened to me. And I too was on the potty. But I was I was I think I was having like a lazy pee. It was late at night, I was tired, and I just I was having a lazy pee, so I'm just on the potty. Scrolling along, right? It was a scrolly pee. And then all of a sudden, it felt like a felt like a push tack. Like, you know, a push pin was being pushed into the exact middle of my back in between my shoulder blades. And I'm like, what the fuck is that? I'm, I, I can't reach it. I don't have very good arm flexibility. That, that's always been um, one of my uh, drawbacks at the gym. I don't have the arm flexibility, so I can't do uh, can't do all kinds of of exercises that require me to get my hands back here. I just I I, I can't do it right. Um, so I got this push pin being like pushed in, in the middle of my back, and I'm trying to like I'm wiggling it around. I'm like, what the hell is this? At first, I thought like it was like a um, it was like a hair or something maybe caught in my clothing, and then and then I'm trying to so I'm trying to like move my shirt around, trying to like. You know, get maybe this, this hair. I'm either gonna pull this hair out, or I'm gonna it's, it's gonna unlatch or whatever. It it was something. It was just it was like the the push pin was being pushed harder and harder and harder, and and then so it got to the point so bad. I like get up and I'm like, what the hell? I rip off my shirt and the biggest fucking spider fell onto the floor. I, oh fuck, man. Um, so I kill it, obviously. And then I look in the mirror and there's this 
I'm all fucking freaked out now. Um, this like big, massive welt. I could feel it. Like it was like tightening. I could. Uh, and then I met. I messaged my wife. I, I forget where she. Maybe working late or something. And then, uh, no, she was out of town. That's right. I was home alone. She was out of town. I messaged her. What happened? And I was like, I can feel the venom. I can feel it coursing in my body. I can feel it. It's terror. I was just trying to. I was just having a lazy pee, and fucking this thing jumps out, tries tries to kill me. Good lord. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, awful story. Ah, uh, awful story. In a back to the snake, if we can. Uh, in a desperate attempt to break its grasp from from its his testicles. Uh, Thanet grabbed the toilet brush and started whacking the snake's head until it loosened its grip and died. Look at this, look at the, this photo. Look at this, look at this photo. So we got the toilet. Very, very modest bathroom, it seems. It almost looks like the toilet is in the shower. But look at all the blood all over the place. With this big snake coming out. That's insane to me. You guys want to watch the video? Let's watch the video. I guess there's no sound on this. That's crazy. I hate everything about this. Look at that. Look at that face. It was on his ball sack. Poor bastard. Look at the size of this thing. Again, here's a, another photo. Look at the look at the size of this thing. It's massive, twelve feet long. Jesus, what size of creature? I wonder. I don't know. I don't know a whole bunch about snakes. Um, snakes kind of aren't my thing. But like, what's the biggest creature a twelve foot python could eat? I wonder. What a rabbit? Um, a, some some medium sized dog. So the father immediately went to hospital. To get a tetanus uh, vaccine. Um, do pythons carry tetanus? No idea. He said doctors told him he would not need stitches as the wound was not deep enough to, um, to sever the skin and it would heal in a couple of weeks. He added, my testicles are safe now. I'm lucky it wasn't a venomous snake. That's 100% true. He said a cobra would have killed me. That's that's very likely. But I haven't used that toilet again since. Every time I go, I check what's inside and I put a brush in there to make sure. Pythons attacking people using toilets have uh, happened several times before in Thailand. Oh my God. I'm never going there. In 2016, a resident at a porn... Boone, uh, Boone Macchue nailed it. Uh, was ambushed by a ten-foot-long python using a squat toilet. His wife ran into the room upon hearing him scream and helped pry the python's uh, jaws off of his penis. He passed out from blood loss, but survived after being treated at the hospital. Uh, he replaced. Uh, the squat toilet with a more modern version following the attack. But in 2020, a housewife was bitten on her buttocks, on her rear end, her dairy air, if you will, by a python while sitting on the toilet bowl in Samat Prakan province. Volunteers gave her first aid and caught the snake, which was then released into the wild. The reticulated python is found throughout Southeast Asia, where they live in forests, swamps, canals, and even cities, causing them to come into conflict with humans. The, uh, the species is one of the largest snakes and can eat humans. Eat humans? Really? I thought this was like my anaconda don't kind of, that eats a human. Like anacondas eat humans. Or they can, the big ones. You know, the ones that are going to attack J-Lo? Those are the ones that eat humans. I didn't think a uh, Okay, all right, we, I'm learning. Look at us. Together, you and me. We're learning something together. Anyways, they can eat humans, cats, dogs, birds, rats, and other snakes. 
crazy, eh? What a what a what a whack, wacky story that is. A Thai man is bitten on the testicles by a python, a twelve foot python, while sitting on the toilet, leaving his bathroom sprayed in blood. Good God. Anyways, that's this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It's left me terrified. I'll, uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace. Peace.